Hello, my name is Maxim. I'm going to show you today how a simple cable assembly can be designed in Expedition Enterprise Tool Suite. The whole process can be split into three main engineering tasks. Library setup, logic definition of the cable, and the cable assembly itself. Let's start from the library task first. Two different uh, libraries are involved in the design process, CDM library and the ca cable library. In case of the EDM library, you need to add a system connector on top of the regular EDM component. A system connector contains some extra metadata utilized in the design process and system design in particular. An example, I, I'm going to add a system connector metadata to the SAMTEC component. The component wizard uh, out of the box utility inside the EDM library cockpit will guide you through the whole process. So first of all, you select the system component type. It's a cable connect in this case because it has no PCB footprint. Then you need to set up the pin shape, pin count, and uh, mated connectors. In fact, uh, you specify the pin to pin mapping for each mated connector in this GUI. A cable library uh, is another design domain library. Uh, different library components uh, are managing it uh, relevant to the cable design process, such as uh, uh, back shells, uh, plugs, uh, you see clips, terminals, tubes, and others. Connectors are managed too, but different component metadata are involved compared to the EDM library. So I'm opening the same connector, but in the expedition cable library. So it is a di different symbol. The supply can be the same, but the housing, it's about the terminals. So there is no relevant objects in the EDM library for it. Uh, both libraries have EDX based data synchronization for the connectors. So the part numbers and mated pairs can be synchronized. Assuming you have the library data ready, you can move on with the logic design. The work is accomplished in a tool called System Designer, where the board-to-board -board interconnectivity is managed. The tool is not solely for the cable design, but this functionality is an integral part of it. In short, I have to place few cable connectors and specify a pin-to-pin -pin interconnects, represented by the wires, between these connectors. In the example, one of the PCB boards in my design has a board connector, which is mated with a cable connector. You may see the board connector is located within uh, the rectangular shape. The list of the approved mated connectors for this board connector was specified in the EDM library, so I select a suitable connector from that list. I use a connector pin manager to replace ad hoc symbol in the schematic. Once the mating is done, the pin-to-pin -pin connections can be displayed. This information is also taken from the EDM library. On the other end of my cable, I have three chassis mount D-sub connectors. I use the same process to place these connectors. The only difference, I do not mate them with any PCB board connector. Now I need to draw the interconnects between these four cable connectors. I use uh, the wire bus for that to simplify the graphics. To be more certain, I want to minimize the number of lines in this schematic. So the bus uh, corresponds to the multiple wires. The name of the bus uh, can be generic, so ad hoc created, uh, but uh, it can also be cable assembly specific, for instance, a multi-core part number. Uh, the wire bars might have a predefined bus content, like in my example, so I simply can rip the existing uh, wire from the predefined list. Uh, 
I can specify now the twisted pair and shields for my cable placing a special uh, type symbol on top of the Y gra graphics. Uh, this will create certain multiple wire structure in the cable assembly. As you can see, you can adjust the graphics. You can also connect the shield to the connector scheme if necessary, if it's required by the design. You can assign uh, different wire properties as well. This can help to drive specific wire implementation later on when we start a cable design, the physical implementation of the cable. In the example, I specify the wire color and material group. One of the last steps in the cable logic definition is selecting the connectors and wires to be synchronized with the particular cable assembly design. I select my four connectors and related wires. Other design connectors and wires may correspond to another cable assemblies. Once done, we move on to the cable assembly design. This is the physical implementation of the cable. The work is done in a tool called uh, cable design. First, I receive the logic data from system design. Once the data is synchronized, the list of the connectors, the wires, and related pin-to-pin -pin connections uh, are now available. Some wire metadata as specified in system design is available too. In the example, you may remember, we specify the color and material group of one of the wires. This information is now available in cable design. You can adjust the, the definition of the wire further for instance, selecting a particular wire path number. Now I need to draw the bundles. It's a physical path for the wires of my cable. But let's first clean up the diagram. The bundle creation is pretty easy. In the example, I select the connector. It is a, a dot in the diagram and uh, another connector. Or another bundle. You can specify the length of the bundle manually. If the cable is designed in 3D MCAT environment, you can update these values automatically. You can assign a particular multi-core path number to the wires. The cable designer is linked with the cable library. The tool is verifying dynamically the design-specific multi-core structure against the library component structure. different library search criteria can be specified. Once the number, the path number is assigned, the connector's table is automatically updated with the library data. For instance, cross-sectional area, color, materials is updated. By the way, the table content can be adjusted. The tool allows you to automate certain tasks, such as wire termination, wire or multi-core path number assignment. So, you can do that manually or automatically. Let's now update the bundle length in accordance with the 3D analysis done in MCAT environment, in our case in an X. The wiring and harness data can be exchanged in PEVMXML format. After I import the file, I select uh, to update the bundles. As you can see, I can also synchronize other wiring harness objects. After the bundle length update is complete, I need to recalculate the wire length. So you can see the wire table is updated automatically after recalculation. 
one of the last steps for my cable design would be adding uh, an isolation tube. So it's a standard operation, so I click on the bundle where I want to add the tube, select the part number, so it's uh, linked with the cable library and add the tube. Then I need to calculate the length of the tube and uh, add it to the component bill of material. The cable diagram and the reports can now be extracted out of the database for the production. The database itself is managed in the Expedition EDM environment.